And I've heard it from students said that they come here because of the friendly atmosphere. They feel like it's a down-home atmosphere. If they, whatever they need, they feel like they can go to any person on this campus and this, these uh, individuals will help them. So it's more a home and I feel very confident that my doors are open to all students, all faculty at any time. And that's what I ask my faculty, uh, staff and faculty to do is make sure that they're available to help students at any time and any purpose. And if they can't help them, refer them to someone else who can. We have a small classroom environment, of course. We only accept 20 students every year into our program. Um, but our faculty really care about our students and they develop one-on-one -on -one relationships so that we can cater to their learning needs. So we can meet them where they're at. We can change our teaching styles so that we can develop confident nurses that are well prepared to enter the workforce. Do your students get the same I just like how family oriented it is. Everyone's very helpful. They they want it as much as you want your education. So, you know used to you just you, the title was secretary and now in it's so much more than just a secretary. You're not just scheduling appointments or, you know, filing papers. Of course, everything's gone electronic now, so that helps, but you're also, you know, doing a dabble of management and a little piece of the marketing. And like I said, we're very, very family oriented and just friendly and willing to, if you want to be successful, you very much can be. Well, I think because we have a great relationship with U.S. Holland up here at Dumas that hires all of our welders that come out of the class. They leave out of here after a 10 and a half month program. They go into a job making between 50, 60,000 a year. So my paramedic students uh, might be doing a scenario with a seizure patient. So during this seizure patient, they would be expected to assess, to look for the signs of the seizure, treat by protecting an airway. You might see them drop a, an ET tube. They would give medications like midazolam to stop the seizures. And then we would also do things like, we love our VR system. So you might see a holographic patient that's actively seizing while our patients are practicing those skills on a mannequin. I, I, we not only want students to be able to replace parts, but we want students to understand why parts go bad, why a car isn't running the way it's supposed to, uh, what makes it not run the way it's supposed to. And cars these days, you have to have students that have really high comprehension skills. They've got to be able to diagnose, they've got to be able to read diagnostic schematics and things like that. So we try not to give them uh, things that are more commercial. I, I try to tailor the program to each student. I give them a lot of one-on-one -on -one, and we make sure that we go really deep into the theor theoretical side of uh, automotive repair. McGee Campus Automotive Technology Program is an amazing program. The level of experience that you gain from this is exceptional. You, I started out here and I was completely lost and now I have confidence in myself to where I can go out and find a good job in a shop or in a dealership. In 2003 we merged with the University of Arkansas at Monticello and that gave us a great opportunity for students. They can start off and they can receive a certificate of proficiency if they choose to stop out there then they can continue on with a technical certificate which is a 11 month certificate and then if they choose to go on they can go on it with about 15 more hours and get an associate of applied science degree. Uh, if they choose to continue on, they can go on and get credit for all that they've taken and uh, get a Bachelor's of Applied Science. So I think that it's great opportunity for here for those students uh, to gain a skill and have opportunities to stop out and go to work if they choose to do so. What a clinical setting is, when we go to clinical, we go into a nursing home and we provide that care for the residents, the care that we have that I have taught throughout the whole semester. Bathing, nutrition, feeding, all of the range of motion, ambulating, all of those things. We will actually be taking care of those patients in that clinical setting. We're not IT. Medical billing and coding is more a much better classification because we are the money side of healthcare. 
you know, we have the clinical part of it and we have nurses and they are all very important. Without my people, they don't get paid. I am not gonna do their work, but I'm gonna make sure they have every tool available to make sure they can do their work. If they need a scholarship, I'm gonna try to find them a scholarship. If they need extra tutoring time, I'm gonna find that. I'm their responsibility, they're adults, they're gonna be up to their own work, but all the extra things that might be causing them issues, with learning online, I'm gonna eliminate. They get plenty of hands on, and they love it. They, they can't wait to get out of the classroom and get into the shop. They go over the grinder, cutting torts, plasma cutter, arc welding, MIG, TIG, like I say, we've got it all. We do it all right here. Those that are in early childhood education are usually not in it for the income, but more for the outcome. Seeing those children to develop their skills and to grow in those interactions with children. Most um, of those individuals that come through our program are already in the child care facilities and they love their children. They're just looking to further their education. And I, I always put my staff first. I, we have an outstanding staff that will take a student where they are when they come in and get them to where they need to be in order to graduate. And that's my main thing that, uh, and they'll work with students if there's situations comes up in, uh, in their life that they will work with them to continue their education or refer them to someplace uh, else that will be a better fit for them.